You are watching The Cookbook Season 2 powered by Black & Decker. And after that healthy start to the episode with quinoa tabbouleh, we are all prepped up for the main dish of the day. Chef, what are we making? For the main course, I have thought of making a fish and we'll be doing a dukkha spice fish with green peas puree and citrus salsa. So I'll just show you the process, how we do it. Yep. Cannot wait, sounds extremely interesting. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take a saute pan for myself and start with the cumin first. Two teaspoons of cumin, taking one teaspoon of black pepper and some coriander. I'll be putting two whole teaspoons of coriander. Now sesame plays a very important role. Sesame is more in quantity, we'll okay. be going. And let me just give it a toss. And as you see, the sesame have turned golden. Yes. I'll just gonna tip it off here. And in the same pan, we're gonna put pistachio, a tablespoonful of pistachio. Some whole, I'm not broken it down or anything. Whole almonds. Whole almonds. And these are macadamia nuts. I'll mm -hmm. put like eight to ten pieces of macadamia nuts here. Okay. This gives the very nutty flavor to it. Mm -hmm. So here we have. So now when this is done, just take it on a plate here. And we are ready to blitz this. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna all of this. And I'm going to use some salt here, but I'm using not the regular salt, I'm using a Maldon salt. Okay. Maldon salt is basically a crystallized sea salt, mm -hmm. pure sea salt. Okay. And I'm going to just pulse blend it. And that's what we are looking for. So our spice mix is ready, Dukkha spice mix. Okay. Easy? Very easy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to season it before we put the egg wash, just lightly on both the sides of the fish. Only salt, no pepper, because we have put the pepper in the Dukkha mix itself. Just the egg white and, egg not, white. The, and not the yolk. Correct. Why? Because I don't want the, the fish to take any other colour. Simple. Just brush all over the fish, even on the sides. Mm -hmm. This is the only reason I'm brushing it, mm -hmm. so that the, the mixture that we made, the dukkha spice, Can should stick exactly to it. To stick to the fish. So as we are finished with the brushing, if you can pass me the, the Dukkha spice mix. Yes. Right here. All I'm going to do is take the fish. Dip down. it into the nuts and spices mixture. All I'm going to do now is just drizzle a little oil. When I'm removing it from the oven, mm -hmm. it would be easier for me to pull it out from the base, basically. Right, so my fish has gone in the oven at right. 160 degrees mm -hmm. for 12 minutes. 12 minutes we are going to be baking this fish. Meanwhile, what do we do, Chef? So, fish just kept on a plate is incomplete. So, mm -hmm. we're going to do some green peas puree to okay. go along, and for which all we need is the green peas. I've taken some water here mm -hmm. and we're just going to put it on heat. So, I'm just okay. going to take like 100 grams of it of the green peas into the water. 
All I'm gonna do is just put some salt to it. Mm -hmm. A pinch of salt in this. And I'm just gonna take a thyme. All I'm gonna do is take one sprig of it. That's all I've That's added. That's all. I'm just gonna strain this out. Mm -hmm. We'll be straight in our blender then. So I will add a little cream right cream. away. Just like 20 ml of cream I've just put in. I guess we've got it now. And that is what we are looking for. The color, the bright green. Yes. That has mixed with the cream. Nice and creamy, and the color. So let's start with the citrus salsa. Okay. So I'll take a little parsley, citrus. So I've taken two of the citrus fruits. That is orange. Orange. And a grapefruit. Great. All right. Just gonna go ahead and peel the fruit first. Okay. There we go. And watch. One, two. Wow. All right. That's all I need. Let me take my parsley. Hands out. I'm not going to fine chop it. I'm just going to keep it rough. all like I told you I'll be only putting some seasoning to it mm -hmm. salt and olive oil and we have the salsa ready and it's done so we have the green peas puree the salsa let's check on the fish yes Here we go. Perfect. You see the sizzle I of the oil? I see the sizzle. I and the smell aroma. the aroma, the fragrance. This looks wonderful, Chef. So let me start with the puree. I'm just going to take a spoonful of the puree. That's our green piece puree. Let me take the salsa here. Yeah. My Maldon salt. I'm just gonna put in a little spice here. Mm -hmm. A nice Mexican touch as well. A chili touch right here and last but not the least we do the green peas here okay. green peas pouch so here we have the dukkha spice fish with citrus salsa and green peas puree such a good looking dish chef really i'm glad you like it I do. It's such an assortment of flavors from spicy to zesty to creamy. There's everything. Right here for you. Thank you very much. Once again, Chef, I'll let these flavors sink in while you guys take a short break.
For the dukkha spiced fish, we need 2 teaspoon cumin, 1 teaspoon whole black pepper, 2 teaspoon coriander seeds, 4 teaspoon sesame seeds. Roast the spices together and remove. In the same pan, take 1 tablespoon pistachios, 2 teaspoon almonds, 8 to 10 macadamia nuts. Roast together. Add a pinch of mild and salt. Blitz the spices and nuts in the Black & Decker food processor. Then take 2 fish fillets, a pinch of salt, brush with egg white, coat the fish with dukkha spice, drizzle some oil, Bake in the oven at 160 degrees for 12 minutes. 100 gram green peas, a pinch of salt, one sprig thyme. Blanch and drain the peas. Add 20 to 30 ml cream. Blend in the Black & Decker food processor. For the citrus salsa, we need half grapefruit, half orange, handful of parsley, drizzle of oil, a pinch of salt. Plate the green peas puree, dukkha fish and citrus salsa together. Garnish with jalapenos and green pea sprouts.